All right, this is the simulation for lab two, which is the stopwatch. This is for uh, Dean Dalton and Nick Elmer. Um, I've already compiled our test bench and in model sim, and we have our clock signal and our key, which are the buttons, which uh, key zero is our reset and key one is our go signal, and then the hex zero through five for our outputs. And if we run this for a thousand nanoseconds, we can see we have initial reset and the initial go signal with um, active low, and it begins counting from zero on up. And these are res um, shown in our hexadecimal values, um, with C0 and 40 being our zero values. 40 is with the decimal point, and it will count up. And it'll increase the next hex value for our seven segment display. And let's see. If we apply reset signal while our go signal is still active, it will reset um, even though the go is active. And then if we take away that reset signal, it will continue to count because that go signal was still active and if we stop our go signal um, it will hold that value until it is applied again and it will continue counting as normal and um, if we go ahead and stop that go signal again as shown here it will pause and hold the value that it has and if we apply reset with that go signal stopped, it will reset until it is taken away. And if we apply our go signal again, it will resume counting from zero because of that reset. And if we continue to count, it will continue to increment on all the hex values following. And so that is our simulation for our stopwatch for lab two.